Thanks, Rajan. We've covered a lot of ground today. I think it's clear that the Charmed Operator Framework and Juju are making life easier for users across the world. But for those of you who are debating whether it's the right system for you, here's Varshi Gupta, Tom Haddon, and Arturo Sejas talking about why they chose Juju for managing the open source application, Indigo. Take it away, folks. Thanks, David, for the introduction. Hi, everyone. I'm Varshi. I'm currently working as an engineering director for IS DevOps team. Uh, this team is responsible for automating workloads and reducing maintenance for the applications deployed by our internal operations team. Uh, so applications like WordPress, Mattermost, Jenkins, we're trying to create better operators for managing deployment and making simplifying the day in operations for those. Joining me today are Tom Haddon and Arturo Sages. Tom's one of the managers uh, for this team and Arturo is the lead engineer for this project. So what's Indico? Um, Indico is an open source event management tool um, that allows you to organize, archive, or collaborate on an event. Um, this year, we are reviving Ubuntu Summit after 10 years. Um, so the, historically, the summit's been about uh, sharing the public roadmap of Ubuntu with the larger community. And this year, we, we are focusing back on the community and sharing the future of the ecosystem with them. For organizing such an event, um, we needed a tool to allow us uh, to have participants register or to have speakers uh, register or um, send out communications to the entire uh, participant list. Um, while looking for a solution for that, we came across Indico, uh, which uh, worked for most of the requirements that we had for an event management tool. Um, using Indico, you can manage all different kinds of events, so from small seminars, meetings, to more complex workshops or conferences. It has workflows that e allows uh, you to easily manage different kinds of events. It can aggregate and store all of your events um, in one place. So for your organization, if you're looking to see what's happening in a certain week, you can go and search for that. Um, it also helps manage the entire life cycle of a conference or an event from the beginning. So from registration to abstract submission to final papers, it has tools to do all of that. All of the conference materials are stored within the system. Um, so your presentations, videos, documents, you can make them available to the participants from the web page. Um, since it was uh, created with a large organization in mind, um, these events are organized using a hierarchy of categories and you have protection of resources at different granularity levels. Even inside an event, um, you have different roles that you can define with different access levels. Um, it also has a few other nifty features like room booking and you can also manage your audiovisual equipment inside the room using Indico. Um, it has integrations with plugins like Zoom that allow you to have video conferencing and make the even more customized to your needs. And this is Canonical's Indico deployment. If you go to events.canonical.com, you should see uh, the page up for Ubuntu Summit. The summit's happening between November 7th and 9th in Prague this year. And any public sessions out of that event would be uh, available for the community. Um, now that we had uh, an application that we wanted to deploy, the next step for us was to identify how to make its deployment and then maintenance uh, in future easier. Um, that's where we decided to go with a sidecar operator. Um, this helps us simplify uh, the deployment of the charm on any sort of Kubernetes platform of your choice. Uh, so from micro kits to charmed kits to public kits, you can use the operator to deploy Indico on all of those. Uh, for enterprise deployments, it allows for uh, it has support for scaling out or scaling down according to your needs, and it's also truly multi-cloud. So public, private, hybrid cloud, any sort of cloud infrastructure that you might have, you can use the operator to deploy Indico. In a nutshell, it allows DevOps and SRE teams to, uh, to build out an event management system with minimal operations. Um, at its core, Indigo is a Flask application, and it requires connections to Postgres, SQL, Redis, and Celery. In designing this charm, we have leveraged SART sidecar pattern uh, that allows us to run multiple containers in each pod. The primary benefit of running uh, multiple containers in the same pod is uh, you can scale out the containers together and also issues like network um, or latencies, uh, you can avoid those. 
Um, so when you do a Juju deploy Indigo, at that point, a state, stateful set uh, for the application is created on the pod. Uh, inside that set, you'll have your charm container, which is your sidecar itself. It has a Juju agent um, that can invoke the charmed operator code. Then you have a workload container, which is the Indigo container that holds the upstream OCI image for the Indigo. Uh, for manipulating the, these workload container images, we have a um, lightweight container-centric init system called Pebble, uh, which is automatically deployed by Juju on um, all of our deployments or uh, to the node. Uh, so using Pebble, for instance, um, here on Indico container, we start a US key server in HTTP mode on the startup of application. Um, we also have an Nginx container that allows us to serve static resources, and it forwards any requests for non-static resources to Indico container. It's basically our starting point for all the web traffic uh, to this pod. Uh, we have a container for Celery that manages all the requests from the web application and also a container for Prometheus uh, Nginx exporter that allows us to serve, um, uh, that allows us to see the web traffic statistics. Um, so basically that's uh, how the charm looks when you do like a deployment for Indico. Uh, now uh, that we have an overview of the charm and the application, I'll pass it along to Tom, who will go over further into how Juju and Operator Framework helped us build this charm, and also what are certain other advantages. Uh, over to you, Tom. Thanks, Rashi. Uh, hello, I'm Tom, and I'm an engineering manager at Canonical. I'm going to start by talking about the advantages of Juju and the Operator Framework, and I'll later talk about the specific advantages of, uh, of this charm. So first of all, with the operator framework, we develop operators in Python and can treat them like any mature software project with linting, unit tests, integration tests, and CI, for instance. As Vashi mentioned, we can then deploy it on Kubernetes and integrate it with other substrates. That can be charmed Kubernetes, public cloud Kubernetes, or even microcates on your laptop or on the edge. This Indico operator is targeted uh, um, Sorry, this, this Indico operator is targeted to Kubernetes, but Redis and PostgreSQL could be running on VMs on OpenStack or in public cloud. As far as the Indico charm is concerned, there's an integration with those other applications and where those are deployed is up to you. Uh, for instance, in our production deployment of events.canonical.com, we have Indico and Redis running on charmed Kubernetes and PostgreSQL running on OpenStack virtual machines. So what do we mean by write once, deploy anywhere? Well, mostly we mean that we've done the development work so you don't have to. But also, we mean that you can use the same charm for production, staging, and development deployments. It also means that you can use it at your organization or company. So we're using it for events.canonical.com, but you can use it for events.yourcompany.com. It's been battle tested in different environments. The charm is actively maintained by our team and will continue to receive updates, features, and support. If you have a feature request or problem, just, just let us know. Uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit later about, uh, about contact information. The other advantage of Juju is the clean interface to interact with your application. Here are a few commands showing you how to deploy, configure, relate, uh, and scale your application, as well as running specific actions that you may need, day end operations effectively. In this case, to refresh external resources such as plugins and themes. So yeah, talking about the advantages of the, the charm itself. So if you need to scale out your application, you want a replicated redundant file store for file uploads. The Charm provides a way of accessing this via integration with S3 and S3 compatible backends, for instance, in, in OpenStack. There's also integration with SSO providers, so users don't have to create a, a new account and password and have something else to forget. If you're deploying into an environment that has egress firewall rules, no need to worry. The Charm has support for accessing external resources via a proxy. This can be used to pull in themes, uh, and plugins that customize the look and feel of Indico, both at the overall site level, but also for individual events. I think we might see a, a little demo of that later. 
the charm handles version upgrades of Indico itself automatically. So it deploys with the latest stable version of the application. And as new releases of Indico come out, upgrading will be as simple as Juju refresh, refresh Indico. Another feature of the charm is that it easily handles relations to PostgreSQL, Redis, and Nginx Ingress. For example, in the case of PostgreSQL, that means that it will automatically create a database for you, provision the required extensions, set up a user uh, and password, and send the credentials for that user via the Juju relation. The application will then use those credentials to connect to the database, and all of this is transparent to the user. It's, it's done simply by just running Juju relate Indico PostgreSQL. Uh, the charm also deals with secrets internally. For instance, there's a Flask uh, site key that's created when the charm is first uh, deployed, and it's shared with other units as we scale up the application. Um, yeah, so if you'd like to reach out to us about anything related to this charm, please feel free to do so. Uh, the charm itself is available at charmhub.io slash indico. On that page, you'll see documentation on how to use the charm, how to deploy it, as well as links to the discourse instance highlighted here. There's also a, a Matamost instance at chat.charmhub.io for more kind of real-time communication. Um, okay. Uh, so we're going to do a, a, a little demo uh, and just show you uh, the application in action. Uh, and we'll include uh, all the commands that you need uh, to run to follow along or try try this yourself afterwards in the in the slides that we um, that we have for this. The only thing to mention um, is that we we don't show sort of how to bootstrap microcates and Juju itself. Uh, it's very easy to do. The Charm Hub link we mentioned, uh, charmhub.io slash indico, has the details of that. Okay, uh, so let's see it in, in action. Over to you, Arturo. Thank you, Tom. Well, uh, I'm Arturo, and I'm a software engineer at Canonical. I'll be giving a little demo here. Uh, Barshi and Tom already gave an overview on the motivation behind Juju and the charm architecture. So for this demo, we are going to leverage all the three charms that are maintained by Canonical as part of the huge uh, charming ecosystem it maintains. Uh, basically, we are going to deploy a PostgreSQL charm and two instances of the Redis charm, one to act as cache uh, and another one to act as message broker between the Indico container and the Celery container. So let's jump to the demo. The first thing we are going to do is adding the model in which we'll deploy the charms and deploy uh, all the individual charms we've mentioned, the PostgreSQL charm, the Redis broker and Redis cache charms, both with an alias, to be able to distinguish them later, and then the yeah, so, charm. Sorry, I was just going to say, so yeah, we're, those those are basically the same charm that we're just giving a different alias to that, uh, you know, that we're going to use them for different purposes, basically. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Tom. So once everything is deploying, we can start relating uh, each of the charms with Indico, the Redis cache, the Redis broker, and the Redis PostgreSQL charms. Uh, during this step, uh, as Tom already mentioned, the credentials will be interchanged, the database will be created, and the database extensions will be enabled. We can see an overview of the status here. Uh, in order to give external access to this charm, we are going to deploy the Nginx Ingress Integrator charm that, under the hood, will provision and Kubernetes Ingress. Once related with Indico, it will be configured. But first, we need to give it permissions because this is a clustered scope resource.
we are going to speed it up a little and then we'll check the status using the UU status commands we can see that everything is deployed and the existing relations the different applications and units and this will map uh, as Parsi mentioned each unit will map to a pod in Kubernetes the model will map to a namespace and we can see the different services that Juju has created uh, to enable networking. The pods are all managed by a stateful set. So basically, we already have our Indico instance up and running. This is the current status of our deployment. Uh, there are several things that Juju can do for us. We can scale up and down just by running the add unit command. We can see here that it will provision another instance scale, one of two. We can also manage the configuration uh, just by running the Juju config indico. For instance, we are going to set up an external plugin and we can check the current configuration with that other command. We can see here that the configuration we just specified has been applied. And we also have the run action subcommand that allows us to execute uh, operations that have been defined in the charm. Uh, this is really powerful. Uh, in here, we're going to force the refresh of that theme. This will run a pip under the pip upgrade under the hood. We can see the changes applied in here. As I mentioned previously, uh, one of the big advantages of the of Juju is its charming ecosystem. Uh, Canonical maintains and provides um, a great number of charms. Uh, I'm gonna showcase how it is to integrate with them uh, with the canonical observability stack bundle, which is a set of charms. Um, the canonical observability stack uh, basically consists of a Loki charm, a Grafana charm, and a Prometheus charm. I'm not going to show it, how to deploy this, although there's a link to the instructions in the slides. Uh, I'm just going to relate it uh, to our Indico charm. And this will automatically configure the targets for Prometheus to scrape uh, and import the defined Prometheus rules and Grafana dashboards. So we have cost deployed in a model name cost, and I'm going to just relate it to Indico. So admin slash model name dot uh, relation so we related with prometheus and also with grafana and we just have that it running uh thanks tom and Dartiro. thank you everyone for joining our presentation today um we would we are present at the kubecon at boot 28 we'll be we we'll love it if you come and say hi to us uh back to you david thanks everyone Thank you. Thank you. Bye.